All right, this is my micro mini hydrogen generator I made. It's my second one. My first one actually blew up, shattered a bottle. Uh, it's the hose. Uh, my first one, I didn't use a bubbler, and I lit this hose, and the fire lit all the way back up into the bottle and shattered the bottle and melted my little hydrogen. So I made another one. Uh, this time I made a bubbler, and then I got a hose coming out of there. I don't know what kind of seal this has in there, but uh, I'm just going to try it. My second attempt. Uh, you can see that's the little generator inside the bottle there. This was a, a, a drop bottle with the, it was a supplement for uh, energy. It's empty now. I have uh, filtered water in there using a teaspoon of baking soda and I'm going to power it with the my power supply from a computer so let me get this hooked up here and we'll see what happens I don't know what's going to happen with this one uh, I haven't tried anything let me hook this up let me turn on the power supply and you can see it's making a hydrogen and there you go, look at it, it's working. It's making bubbles. You can see the bubble. It's coming this side. This little hydrogen generator is smaller than a dime. And it's putting out a pretty big bubble there. And I don't know exactly how well this is sealed here. Uh, but I can see in this bottle here, it's already getting uh, dewy in there. Uh, let me tighten the cap down. Uh, like I said, I don't know how well it's sealed. I don't know how well this uh, automotive sealant is, but you can see the bubbles inside are bubbling. It's a pretty big bubble. You can see the dew building up inside. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, try to see if it will light. It's not lighting. So I don't know if the pressure is building up in there or if I got to hold this or if it's leaking out anywhere else. It'll probably pop in there. Let me try again. No, this one's not lighting. Uh, the AC, uh, my AC unit is actually blowing it out before I can light it, but uh. You see the amount that this little hydrogen generator is pumping out. Get a better view. I'm trying to get a better view here. I don't have any clear bottles. That's the only thing I have. Um, you can see the generator being pumped. It is pumping out quite a bit for such a little generator. Starting to cloud up in there. There we go. It's smaller than a dime. And if you look back at my previous videos, you see how I made this uh, uh, type of uh, generator. Uh, look at my mini generator video, and it's the same principle. I'm using a this. Actually, I'm using this plastic tubing here which I cut it and then I ran the wires through uh, through the tube so you have uh, 
two layers of wiring. You have uh, a positive and a negative, but as you can see, they're on top of each other, but there's two on each side. Uh, and it's bubbling pretty good. Uh, right there, and it's getting moist inside. Condensation's building up, building up in this tube here also. Building up in there, and uh, I don't know what's going to happen if I just light this. Nothing's happening other than melting this tube. Last time, like I said, it back flashed. I didn't have a bubbler, and it back flashed. Went through this tube, this exact same tube. Went into a similar bottle on this. The bottle, boom, exploded uh, and melted in the process. The uh, little plastic generator I had in there. Well, I was just wanting to see if this would, uh, what kind of output this would put, and if it would bubble in the bubbler. And uh, it is doing that. But I got so much wind blowing around in the house with the AC. Uh, it doesn't want to light. So, uh, anyways, that's my uh, micro mini generator. And uh, this bottle is actually filling up to where I can't see the generator no more. For the size of this little generator, it's pumping out quite a bit of hydrogen. I'm going to let this run for a while and see what happens. And, uh, that's it, my mini micro generator. Show this on my mini micro mini generator. Uh, I can no longer see through the bottle. The bottle is completely full. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, how much it's producing here. Just at the, the top here, it's starting to foam a lot. And it is starting to bubble into here. The bubbles or foam is going up into the hair, uh, as you can see. This has been running for 10 minutes now. Uh, the bubbles are seem to be getting bigger over here in the bubbler, and uh, I'm going to continue to let this run and see what else happens. I can no longer see through this this bottle anymore. Uh, so there's the very bottom of that's the only part I can see. Uh, it's so thick the light will not even shine through the, the freaking bottle you cannot even see the generator no more and all the way to the bottom here even that's starting to get filled up down there and as this gets filled up it starts pumping more out right here look at how fast it's pumping that it. and it's going up the tube here uh, the longer I leave it plugged in the more it's generating and the farther it's starting to go up the tube here and the bigger the bubbles are getting. So that's after 10 minutes of running. Mini micro generator. Running my mini micro generator, uh, I went to light it and it uh, exploded. It got water all over my table here. You see the water. Uh, it, it cracked this bottle completely. There's a huge crack right here. I blew out the hose and this ended up on the floor and I have a huge puddle of water all over the floor over here. It was an extreme loud explosion. Uh, actually it was pretty cool. Um, I didn't film it because I didn't think anything was going to happen because I tried lighting it several times before and nothing happened. But uh, I said what the hell let me try it. I lit it. Uh, that little thin hose I have no idea where it went. I can't find it. Uh, it must be on the other side of the room somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it went. Uh, it was so fast, but it looked so cool. Uh, the the thin little hose that was coming. Oh, oh, there it is. It spun the bottle around. This whole hose lit up with fire. This bottle, the whole bottle was lit up with fire. And then it went into the other tube that went to the bubbler. Which is down here. And... Uh, 
you can see the stuff that's all over it. This lit up with fire, and it it, <laughs> it was so cool, so cool and scary at the same time that this bottle completely lit up, which I couldn't see before lit up, and everything looked like in slow motion to me. Uh, so don't be fooled. It doesn't matter how big or how small. Uh, these things are very flammable and can't explode. This is the second time I blew one up. The only thing is, I can't see inside the glass, so I don't know if it melted the hydrogen, but uh, uh, this bottle is really, really hot. And, uh, man, my mini micro sure scared the hell out of me. But now I gotta clean up this mess. Uh, that's, that's what happens when you mess with hydrogen gas. Yes, there's the bubbler. Here's the uh, mini micro uh, generator I have. Uh, as you can see, uh, it uh, didn't melt it, but it warped it. It made it look weird, and uh, I don't know what the stain is inside that jar is now. But this is what happens when you don't use the uh, backflash arrester. Even though this is smaller than a dime. The output was incredible and it had a huge explosion and my ears are still ringing. Uh, I knew it was going to backflash, but I thought the bubbler would protect it from going to this bottle and it didn't. The bubbler failed. Uh, the gas that was built up in the bubbler ignited and filled the whole bottle full of uh, fire and the fire went back into this hose and went down into the uh, generator and exploded inside this generator. Uh, Likely this bottle is thicker than the last one I used. This is my second explosion from the mini micro generator, but uh, be careful with them bubblers. Uh, they're not foolproof. Uh, this is proof, man. I wish I would have had it on videotape, but uh, the other attempts I tried to lightning didn't happen, so I didn't think anything was going to happen. Man, it was so loud. My ears are ringing. Careful, be careful messing around with hydrogen. It's dangerous.